okay hi today we're gonna move to new chapter that is topic number 10 group two elements okay what is the group two elements for example we have beryllium um, magnesium calcium okay first of all we look at the physical properties of group two elements okay starting from atomic radius okay ionic radius when going down the group okay first ionization energy okay we know that group two will release electron okay two electron to be released okay next we have lattice energy okay still remember what is the lattice energy okay next melting point and electronegativity okay first the atomic radius okay this this diagram shows the trend of atomic radius from beryllium to barium okay the trend is uh, when going down the group okay the atomic radius become increases okay uh, jadi uh, normally uh, when you going down the group the size become bigger because of the number of shell okay the number of shell increase therefore the radius also increase so when going down the group from beryllium to barium the nuclear charge and the screening effect increase okay uh, ingat lagi nuclear charge uh, bergantung kepada uh, number of protons in the nucleus okay however the increase in the screening effect is larger than the increase in nuclear charge due to the increase in the number of shells okay so when going down the group the number of shells is increased Thus, the, the attraction between the nucleus and the electron cloud decreases okay the attraction between nucleus and the electron valence are weaker therefore the size of atom increases okay okay next we have ionic radius okay first we look at this diagram we have here the yellow one uh, represent of the natural atom okay the yellow one eh, sorry the blue one is represent to the cation okay uh, so kita semua tahu untuk group 2 dia akan release to electron become cation okay okay as we can see here okay the natural atom is bigger than the cation okay but the trend when going down the group is also uh, also the same lah. okay increases okay for atom or ion okay masih lagi sama untuk um, neutral atom okay they have extra number of shell okay compare to ion okay sebab kita tahu kalau ion uh, nak jadi ion dia kena release electron so electron yang dikeluarkan adalah electron yang paling jauh sekali okay so da kalau daripada uh, contoh magnesium magnesium atom kita ada three shells okay but when become an ion it become two shells okay that's why ion dia lebih kecil daripada neutral atom okay all groups two elements will form cats ion by releasing two electrons okay all the cat ions have smaller size than their neutral atom okay so this is because all the cats ion have two electron less than their neutral atom while the nuclear charge remains unchanged okay uh, sekali lagi nuclear charge uh, represent of the number uh, sorry based on the number of protons in the nucleus so for atom or ion the number of proton is remain unchanged therefore nuclear charge also remain unchanged yang berubah ialah bilangan elektron okay 
Okay, next first ionization energy. So, okay, we look at this diagram, this graph. Okay, the trend from uh, when going down the group. Okay, uh, the first ionization energy become decreases. Okay, uh, ini ada kaitan dengan atomic radius tadi lah. So, bila uh, size semakin besar, attraction semakin lemah, jadi is easier to release the electrovalence. So, bila easier, more easier, so uh, energy yang diperlukan pun semakin berkurangan lah. So, the first electron to be removed is located further away from the nucleus and the attraction between nucleus and the valence electrons get weaker. Okay, this is because the increase in the size of atom and decrease in the effective nuclear charge. Hence, the first ionization energy decreases when going down the group. Okay, next, lattice energy. So, lattice energy is the energy released when one more of an ionic compound is formed from its gases ions at standard conditions. Okay, so ionic compound form. Okay. Uh, so we have example here. Okay, this is the general equation. We have cation and N ion produce ionic compound. So this ionic compound is in solid state. Okay, the delta H is equal to negative because energy is released. Okay, the size of the cation increases down the group. This leads to an increase in the interionic distance, causing a decrease in the electrostatic attraction between cation and an ions. Okay, tadi kita dah tengok ionic radius when going down the group, the size of cation increases. So menyebabkan dia punya interionic distance also increases so decrease in attraction okay electrostatic attraction between cations and and ions hence the lattice energy also decreases okay next physical properties we look at melting point okay so group 2 elements are all metals with metallic bonding okay dan group 2 elements semua sama dia punya electrovalence ada dua so when going down group 2 the number of delocalized electron remains the same the charge on each metal cation stays the same at positive 2 okay sama lah so the ionic radius increases the attraction between delocalized electrons and the metal cation decreases. Okay. Uh, jadi semua sama tapi bila ionic radius size untuk ion bertambah menyebabkan attraction tu berkurangan. So beryllium and magnesium have different metallic structures from the other elements in the group. Beryllium and magnesium have a hexagonal close pack structure. Calcium and strontium have a face center cubic structure. And barium has a body center cubic structure. Okay. So the melting point decreases going down the group but the melting point for magnesium is anomalously low. This is because magnesium have a weaker crystal lattice packing arrangement. Okay. Uh, kalau kita tengok dia punya trend ialah decreases but except for magnesium dia ada anomalously low okay uh, pengurangan pengurangan yang tidak normal lah okay di mana dia terlalu rendah disebabkan weaker crystal lattice packing arrangement untuk magnesium 
Okay, the last sekali kita ada physical properties uh, that is electronegativity. Okay, uh, as we know, electronegativity is a tendency of element to receive electron become a negative ion. Okay, tapi untuk group to element dia uh, prefer dia tendency untuk release electron bukan untuk receive electron. Uh, so the electronegativity when going down the group is decreases okay sebab tadi dah dia uh, lebih tendency untuk um, release electron bukan untuk receive electron so electronegativity is a measure of the tendency of an atom to attract a bonding pair of electrons okay all of these elements have a low electronegativity so the valence electrons further away from the nucleus when going down the group and become less good at attracting bonding pair of electrons okay so that's all properties physical properties of group two elements okay we We'll continue with the chemical properties of group 2 elements, okay? That's all.